Hey, what's up, guys? I got the, um, this is the, the, the stock tune on, uh, my wife's, um, 2016, uh, Charger SRT 392. Open up here on, uh, HP tuners. Um, I'm gonna show y'all the, um, intake air temp tables. Um, we'll go to the engine category. Uh, go ahead and expand this. Um, this is going to be found in HP tuners on in under spark So we're under spark and here we go right here um, Intake air temp spark um, You know uh, most of us know um, It's important to try to keep our, uh, our, our air intake temps below a certain temperature um, try to keep it as uh, as cool as possible and the temps down Because um, once it, it reaches a certain degrees it will uh, the uh, computer will pull timing and uh, Reduce the horsepower of the engine um, This is the table where that is going to be listed at um, It's kind of confusing how Dodge kind of has this set up because on their table, I'll show you the, the hot spark table. On their table, there is no um, temperature listed on here. How they have this set up is they have it going uh, off uh, RPM. And then this access is air charge in grams. Which is basically a measurement of how full the cylinders are with air. So if you can kind of imagine um, like the throttle body on the car, um, this right here, throttle body is kind of kind of closed and it's just idling, and then throttle body opens and more and more air comes into the motor, into the cylinders, fills up, and then as the RPM has come across, you can see here they got the timing um, negative fourteen. Uh, negative nine eight seven you got it pulling pretty aggressive on the timing but uh i'll show you how we'll we figure out where that temperature that this is going to happen at kind of what they got listed here um they have a right here they have a base temperature listed um is 86 and then they have a max a hot spark temp listed at 194 so now at this 194 at that table um, this is the temperature that that is going to take effect on that uh, hot spark table that I showed you that's a, a hundred percent but it's actually going to start pulling spark before this temperature and how we can figure that out is is down here where your 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 uh, dead bands are we'll go to the hot dead band and this is actually an adder so down here we'll uh, see it's got listed uh, spark will ramp in when intake air temp is above the intake air spark temp plus this value and we'll click on here to check the value this value is 32 so what you do is you add that value to the base temp of 86, which is 118. So 118 is the max degrees that you can run the air, um, the, the intake air temp up to before it will start pulling sparks. So at 119 degrees, is where it's going to start pulling spark. It will pull a very small percentage and as the temperature increases all the way up to 194 it will eventually reach 100% um, of the spark on that table that was listed. And then on the other side um, it will actually add spark when we're driving in cold weather and we can see that here it's got listed 32 so at 32 degrees, we'll go to our coal spark, and they have three degrees listed here. 
so it's going to add actually add three degrees of timing when the intake air temp is uh, 32 degrees so that's a benefit of uh, driving the Hemi in the winter and you can do the same with this also you'll take our base temp of 86 come to the cold dead band that's also 32 so that's going to be minus now you take the 32 from the 86 and it's 54 so 54 um, is the coldest temp that we can run before it's going to start adding spark on the uh, from the air um, the air intake temp table so at um, 53 degrees is going to start adding spark and then once it reaches 32 you're going to get that full three degrees of uh, spark added from that table so uh, there you go guys it's just kind of um, that's the only thing kind of about Dodge. Their uh, their tuning is is uh, quite different than um, GM and and Ford. Uh, some of their stuff is quite confusing. Um, all right, guys, uh, y'all have a good weekend. I'll check y'all later.